Okay, next slide, please. So, who can get HIV? Anyone can get HIV, no exemption, especially if the person is sexually active. It can affect anyone regardless of sexual orientation, race, your ethnicity, gender, age, or wherever you live. You can get HIV. Even babies are affected if the parent is positive with HIV. Now, if you want to protect yourself from HIV, there are ways. Number one tested for HIV. How do you get tested for HIV? HIV tests are typically performed on blood or oral fluid. They may also be performed on urine. So what you're gonna do is magpa-check up and then the doctor will recommend you to get blood test or urinalysis or HIV oral fluid test. But you have to remember to answer the questions of the doctor honestly. Do not be afraid to tell the truth, though it would feel embarrassing, no? But the doctors are not there to judge. They care about their patients and they are made doctors to treat diseases and illnesses. So number two, choose less risky sexual behaviors. So risky sexual behaviors includes number one, unprotected intercourse or uh, physical contact without using of condoms. Another is unprotected mouth to genital contact or what you call oral sex. And another is anal sex. If you're having physical contact with someone who is HIV positive and you didn't have any idea that he or she is infected and then you did not use condom and then you get very, very wild and then you get small cuts and wounds around your mouth or, or genitals, HIV could enter the wound and could flow into your bloodstreams through the infected fluid. That is why do not engage in risky sexual behaviors. Number three, use condoms every time you have sex. If you're a woman and the guy or your partner won't use condom because uh, for this reason, kasi yung ane, yung ato, then dili pa dun mo married, think many, many times or just back off. Much better. Condoms do not only prevent unwanted pregnancies. It also prevents STDs and HSTIs from spreading, no? like HIV, which can lead to AIDS. And number four, limit your number of sexual partners. Uh, do not have multiple sexual partners because it can increase your risk of getting HIV. Remember, more entries, more chances of winning. If possible, do not engage in premarital sex. Have sex only if you're married to the right person. And number five, get tested and treated for STDs. Now, same with HIV testing. The doctor will recommend you to get a blood test or urinalysis. After the diagnosis, if you are positive with STDs like gonorrhea, chlamydia, trichomoniasis, and syphilis, do yourself a favor and get treated immediately. Antibiotics often in a single dose will be prescribed by the doctor to treat STD. The medication will be by uh, in intravenous injection. Now, the substance for the treatment will be injected to your vein. Para that so sa bloodstream, mas madali ang effect niya. There are also instances where the injection is right to the botox, the lobot. And that is what you call uh, intramuscular injection. And number six, talk to your healthcare, healthcare provider about pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. PrEP is a medicine taken to prevent getting HIV. Fortunately, PrEP has been available in the country for uh, six years, I guess. Now, this is rec recommended for people who are HIV negative who have had anal or vaginal sex in the past six months. And for those who have sexual partners with HIV. And lastly, 
do not inject drugs. Drug injections uh, is done only by medical professionals with new clean hand sanitized tools and equipment. So, dili magpataka og turok, o dili magpataka og use og mga equipments. Blood to blood contact is one of the most efficient means of transmitting HIV from one individual to another. And the sharing or reuse of drug injection equipment is extremely risky in terms of HIV transmission. Injection drug use itself do not cause HIV. No, injection drug use does not cause HIV. It, HIV is transmitted only when infected blood from one individual is left in a needle, in a syringe, cotton, or water, and then injected to the bloodstream of another individual who uses those same materials. HIV from injection, injecting drugs is therefore 100% preventable as long as you always use sterile materials and never share them with anyone. Moving on, next slide. How does HIV spread? HIV can spread, number one, uh, this is the very, very usual way na mag-spread ang HIV. Number one, during sex, especially penetrative, vaginal or anal. It is transmitted when the infected blood or body fluid such as semen or vaginal fluids enter the body. Another is through sharing needles for injecting drugs or tattooing. The risk for getting or transmitting HIV is very high if an HIV negative person uses injection equipment that someone with HIV, with HIV has used. This is because, yun nga, as I have said earlier, needles, syringes, or other injection equipment may have blood in them. And blood can carry HIV so, be careful with your tattoo cravings. Another is by getting stuck with a needle with an infected person's blood on it. This happens by accident. For an instance, an hospital staff is not being careful, no? The syringe that was used for an HIV patient was not disposed properly and then natusok siya. So, it's very likely na magka-HIV din yung staff. Move on. Next slide, please. HIV does not spread through pee, poop, spit, throw up, or sweat as long as there is no blood. Because HIV is found only in the blood, semen, or preseminal fluid, or vaginal fluid of a person infected with the virus. Another, HIV does not spread through coughing or sneezing. Why not? Because HIV is not transmitted through saliva and it is not airborne. Another, holding hands. There is no risk of transmission through unbroken skin. No, there, you, you cannot transmit HIV skin to skin and in the absence of blood. As long as there is no blood, there is no transmission. Any skin contact, as long as well like blood, no transmission. And another is sharing, eating utensils, or drinking glass. HIV cannot spread through this. Why not? Because I, again, HIV is not transmitted through saliva. Although both HIV and anti-HIV antibodies can be detected in saliva, it cannot spread through saliva. So more discussions will be tackled by Ms. Singalibo.